welcome everyone. We're here this evening at Odie Ranch here in South Dakota with Dr. Odie. Uh, we had the chance here this evening to go through some calves as a result of uh, sex semen, uh, both on the Charlet and the Angus side with uh, lockstep, uh, countdown, and uh, milestone on the Charlet side and uh, sunbeam on the Angus side. So why don't you tell us a little bit about what you're doing here with sex semen, kind of the results and uh, kind of the goals that you're after. Sure, Dean. First of all, welcome to South Dakota and to the Odie Ranch, but we'd be happy to do that. It's about five years ago now, I began to notice this increasing price spread between uh, steers and heifers. And as we began to think about uh, a $200 difference between the value of a steer and a heifer, we began to think about the possibility of increasing the percentage of our calf crop that was steers as opposed to heifers. So I had a conversation with Aaron Arnett and your organization, mm -hmm. and we began to talk about what the possibilities might be. Uh, we started a project, I think we did our first one in 2019. Mm -hmm. Started to look at male sex semen uh, with terminal sire uh, on mature cows. And mm -hmm. at that time, we were also looking at female sex semen uh, and, and putting into our heifers. And uh, we evaluated those over about two or three years, and, and our conception rates were decent, but probably not great. We're uh, a bit behind what we would expect with conventional semen. But we learned several things. One of the things we learned is, of course, the Charlet sired calves on our Sim Angus cows really had good growth and good performance. We were, obviously, we've been very pleased with that. We also, uh, using uh, uh, Simmental and or Angus bulls on our heifers, mm -hmm. uh, with heifer semen, we had pretty good success with that. Uh, this last year now, we've actually used male sex semen on our heifers, and part of the reason for doing that is uh, we get better conception rates on our heifers. We use an MGA prostaglandin system. Mm -hmm. We breed by heat, and we've been getting uh, generally in the high 50s uh, with our conception rate uh, with our heifers. And so that's been part of the logic that we've actually used. Some of the issues that we deal with, though, is, of course, if, you, if you're selling like Charlet sired calves in markets here where there aren't that many of them, then we tend to see a bit of a price penalty. Yep. If we sell them in markets where there's a lot of other Charlet sired calves, uh, we seem to do quite well in that particular setting. So we've been in the process of, that, of evaluating this now for probably about five years. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've been very fortunate to have your company working primarily with Aaron as a partner in really evaluating uh, sex semen and perhaps some of the best ways we can use sex semen in commercial beef cattle production. Absolutely. And you know, you talked about the use of sex semen uh, to skew your calf crop towards a certain sex, um, but something else that we talked about earlier today was the benefit of being able to capture uh, the positives of heterosis. Um, how would you say that that's played a role in kind of your decision making? Well, we think of our, our cow herd as a maternal herd. We try to uh, really emphasize the maternal traits in our cow herd. So with, uh, with a Sim-Angus combination, and what we'd like to have is we'd like to be as close to 50% Simital, 50% uh, Angus as we could be. Mm -hmm. And what we're really interested in is uh, the heterosis effect and the benefits that we get, and particularly the benefits we get in longevity. Mm -hmm. Longevity, we think, is a really, really important uh, trait for commercial beef cattle production, especially with the costs that we now have. The input costs are so dramatic, mm -hmm. and the cost of developing replacement heifers relative to the cost of maintaining mature cows is high. Mm -hmm. So getting as many calves out of that cow as we possibly can, we see that as a very high priority in our system. Yep. And one last question you had hit on uh, that you switched uh, using sex female semen on your heifers to switching over to sex male. Um, would you say that uh, that was a good decision? Are you glad with that? And what have you seen from that? I, I think so. And, and our logic in doing that is uh, we're trying to, we think we'd like to produce about 65% steer calves. That's what we'd actually like to have. And we get better fertility on our heifers. So putting male sex semen into our heifers is one way that then we can get closer to that 65% uh, because our conception rates are better there than they are on our mature cows. And of course, to be fair on this, our mature cows are all synchronized and time bred. Mm -hmm. And our heifers, we're breeding those while they're still in our backgrounding yard, okay. feeding MGA, uh, an MGA prostaglandin system, and we breed by heat. And uh, we can get better fertility when we actually do that, especially right. with sex semen. 
And the other thing with sex semen, of course, timing of insemination becomes more critical. Right. And that's why I think that heifer program has worked as well as it has. Well, perfect. Well, we sure appreciate the opportunity to go through the cattle here and the work that you've done with ST Genetics. I uh, really appreciate the partnership and your time. Thank you. Great to have you here.